we are witnessing history chew right now within the Tophia verse and it's getting pretty crazy. I probably shouldn't be posting this, but um, there is a uh, TikToker on here whose name I'm not going to say just in case, um, who is known for going live and um, she's been living out of a motel uh, that I just so happened to work at. Um, and we had to kick them out today and DNR them because they couldn't pay their bill and I quote, because TikTok didn't pay me. They were disgusting and I can confirm her room was disgusting. I can also confirm that when they were kicked out this morning, they parked outside of the parking lot and their mom or grandma took a shit on the sidewalk. They're as disgusting as you think they are. That's, that's the reason for the green screen. I still need to get in here and scrub those little pieces off, but that, that's poop. There was poop on the wall. Sophia has officially been kicked out of her motel and she seems to be living out of her car now with Mama Chu and Brother Chu. I'm not really sure what Brother Chu is doing, but there's been quite a bit of back and forth drama going on between the housekeeper of the motel and Tofia. This all began when the housekeeper released a video on TikTok talking about how disgusting their room was, which was the video I just showed you at the very beginning. That video gained over 13 million views. And the user that uploaded it goes by the name Squid, or this name, who currently has 55,000 followers. And if you don't know who Tofia Chu is, I strongly recommend you stop watching this video and go watch a video that I made on her. This video right here, I will have linked in my description. It goes over all the lore about her. So let's unpack everything that's been happening. Tofia has been referencing to a maid that has been coming to clean her motel, her room. She's been saying, oh, I've got this maid that takes care of my room, acting like like, you know, she's living the good life. Somebody leaves a comment on Squid's first video saying, oh my God, you're her maid she talks about. She used to brag that she had a maid at her apartment style living, which Squid replies and says, I'm a housekeeper, not a maid. Maid? I'm a housekeeper. <laughs> I cannot describe to you the smell that was emanating from that room. I could even smell it on her brother when we would pass each other when I was on my way into work and he was going to the Circle K up the street. It's not apartment style living, it's, it's an extended stay hotel and it is a dump. Um, for my own safety, I'm not gonna be dropping the name of the hotel that I work at on the internet to a bunch of strangers, but I promise you I'm telling the truth. Why would I fucking lie about this? I only ever went in their room once and that was like the week after they got a clean notice, which means that their room was so disgusting that we almost had to kick them out and they had to clean it up to not get kicked out. It was still disgusting and it smelled like ass. I'm pretty sure we had to throw away every single sh set of sheets that we gave them. They refused to ever let us actually come in and clean, which is part of the reason they got kicked out. And I will do everything in my power <laughs> to get you pictures and videos of that room because no one that I work with gives a sh I mean, there's really not anything to tell except for the fact that they were just disgusting people and you could smell their room a mile away. They only ever wanted sheets. They would barely ever let us into the room, not that we wanted to go in because it was disgusting. This is not a nice hotel. It's not apartment style. Like, it's literally a hole. It's where the fucking New Mexico government used to send people when they got out of prison. Like, this is the same hotel that had the guy jacking it in the fucking courtyard and the same one where a week prior to that they arrested a freaking pet she was not living it up that's usually how tofia likes to frame things making it seem like she is living it up like she says that she had as a maid and she's getting all these sponsors from tiktok or she's making so much money from tiktok and then when reality hits her well she then plays the victim which i don't know if reality ever actually hits her i think it just knocks on the door and she just locks it so that way she doesn't have to face reality and just keeps believing every delusion that she has which would make sense why she plays victim. Sophia's went on a 
lot of rants on her Instagram, and I'm not going to play all of them. I'm just going to play a little snippet of one of the rants that she went into. But a majority of the other rants is just her calling Squid a maid the whole time, kind of playing it like putting her down, saying maid, like, oh, the maid did this, the maid did that. It really sounds like she's just saying, oh, she's just a maid type vibe. That's what she's given when she's talking about her. And then in one of her stories, she says that she shouldn't have even posted this video about Tofia. But this is the digital world and it's the world we live in where a lot of people will go to TikTok and they'll post experiences they have with their work or just somebody they've seen in public. While yes, it might not be socially acceptable to tell every little detail of other people's lives that you see, you can do it. People like to hear it, especially when the story is interesting and it's about somebody like Tofia. And if somebody is defaming you, then you can sue them. But this is just one of the many things that Tofia had to say on her Instagram story story that lady is the main cause so because of her and i know it was her because she's the one who was rude she's been rude she said i'm not gonna kick you guys out over social media whatever i i'm just so frustrated because it puts my family in that position she she uh, the other maid as another maid should have not posted that video there was no reason for her to tell my business and lie and try to make it seem as if, oh, they didn't pay the rent because she didn't get paid from TikTok. She doesn't know anything of what we told this other lady that works in the office. Well, I mean, all she would have to do is talk to the other lady to find out what was told. And from the sounds of it, that's what happened. How else did she know? I am so freaking sick and tired of having to deal with people like that. And I just felt the need to come on and explain myself because I'm so frustrated it pisses me off so yeah there's a lot more whenever i'm able to go live and explain everything i will explain everything but yeah that's not good and then so began the rebuttal there would be more videos released going into detail about the condition of the apartment oh and as well as roach true roach true makes a brief uh, appearance I don't have a lot of stories. In fact, I don't have like really any stories because I never interacted with her because they stayed in the room like the gross mole people that they were. But I can tell you that the reason they had roaches is because their kitchen was absolutely disgusting and it had food on it that was probably older than my nieces and nephews. Always, okay? The roaches were their fault. Also, the people working the front desk are wonderful, nice people that are good at their jobs. The only time that the staff at the hotel, myself included, are going to be less than nice to a guest is when they, when they are less than nice to us, okay? We match energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for any of you out there wondering how Roach Chew was doing, it seems like they have been traveling together. So that's nice. And the reason why she's bringing up about not being nice is because Tofia references this in uh, one of her Instagram stories talking about how they were mean and they hated their jobs, which you can only make a presumption that they hated their jobs. She wouldn't actually know that. And it always seems like with Tofia, she's just trying to find any angle she can to make her argument stronger. I'm about to head into work, so we'll find out if I have a job. Pretty sure I still do. But I just want to tell you guys, it would be one thing, and you, Tofia. <laughs> you should hear this, too. Um, you were no longer a guest. She was no longer a guest at the hotel. All of those privileges go out the window once you are no longer a guest at the hotel. Now you're just a f***ing crazy person, okay, baby girl? I'm not scared of you. I've seen how fast you can move, okay? Everything I said was true. You even admitted it on your fucking Instagram story, bitch. I don't know why you're still lying. You literally, all I said was you got kicked out because your room was gross and you didn't pay rent, which is exactly what fucking happened, okay? Also, you can get in so much trouble baby girl lisa for filing a false police report so have fun with that one she does in fact keep her job as she says in this next video i'm about to show you and gives us a nice little motel hotel tour i do still have a job and i want you guys to know that my district manager would have said all the same shit that i'm saying about her only to her face i will also say the room is a little bit cleaner than i expected it's still disgusting it smells like piss body odor and 10 year old cooking grease like there's so much grease on the light bulb over the stove that when i turned it on it smelled like something was cooking 
And then she goes on to show us the light bulb, how the door looked, the wall. There's stuff all over the wall in between the uh, cabinets there, the fridge or something. And then just a bunch of stuff laying around, how dirty the stove was, more trash laying around, and the uh, fridge full of food. And just a lot of nasty stuff in the tub there. And I don't know what happened to that door. Here's all the brand new sheets we've been bringing in that they haven't been using. I don't want to know what that is. They're also currently still parked up the street in the same spot. The shit is still behind their car. I would get you a picture, but I don't want to get that close to them. Yeah, I don't think we need to see a picture of that. I'd, I'd have already seen a lot of disgusting things in these videos, and I ain't trying to look at that. After she posted all these videos, that set Tofia off, and Tofia finally posted on her TikTok going on a pretty vicious rant. I need to address this because this needs to be said. I'm running errands and I don't need anyone to be thinking I'm sleeping out on my car. Her starting out the video like that, I don't understand because from what everything I know, she is sleeping in her car. She's living in her car because she's not staying in the motel hotel apartment anymore. It's the car. They're living out of the car. So I don't know why she started with that. Maybe she didn't think that this wasn't going to go as far as it did. First of all, the maid had no rights to share any of my personal and private business. And it would be in her best interest not to respond to comments in her page because she's going to incriminate herself and lose her job. I got several videos I am sending over to corporate and I'm going to make a call to let them know that she is putting my business out there. She's a maid, so she should not be telling anything anybody anything second of all i did not talk about the maid and if she sees this video i didn't talk about you i don't know you personally you don't know me personally just because i'm a public figure doesn't give you the right to go and tell everyone my business because you don't know what i was going through or what i was struggling with online and really this all comes down to you know the company's policy if they have anything against talking about uh work related matters while squid didn't mention any names she did mention some details that you know could only narrow down to one person that we all know of because there, who else does this from a motel or a hotel using a green screen i don't know anybody so it's pretty easy to figure out who it was you put my family in danger that's all i'm gonna say because i'm not incriminating myself to get in trouble and i'm sending this video to your job and your corporate I'm failing to understand how she put her family in danger because they got kicked out because they didn't pay. She didn't dox anybody. No one was doxed here. And I'm also, if it doesn't work, I'm reporting you to the police. I'm going to make a police report and let them know that they and see what I can do about having those videos taken down because you don't know anything about me. I am not the only soul winner or not breadwinner but the sole person that helps pay bills and i'm not going to tell people my brother's business because no one needs to know where he works if he works or anything because for protection and safety purposes that's why i didn't tell people why i was leaving and for you to come online and act like as if i was creating a sob story i was keeping myself quiet for a reason because i didn't want people to follow me and find out where i live which now you have put my family in danger thank you very much i did not say anything about uh, um, uh made with weird piercings well there she goes again talking about being put in danger and then trying to take a jab at her by saying that she has weird piercings trying to make fun of her appearance i have my live streams fully recorded you are not going to sit here and lie and say i talk about people that i live at why would i talk about the maids when i don't know them personally she was nice she came to our door and gave us our bedding I didn't say anything rude about you. So don't listen to these trolls. And I would suggest in your best advice, in the best advice, since maybe you don't want to take advice from me, is to take down those videos and stop responding to people before you lose your job. Because that is a second video that I have to send to your corporate office to get you fired because you wanted to come online and spew my business. I hate when people love to do things for views and kick people while they're down. You don't know my situation. You don't know why I couldn't pay my bills. And it wasn't just because of TikTok. If I would have had the money, I could have helped my brother pick up where he couldn't pick up. I don't have to tell people what's going on in my personal life. Now, looking on the side of Tofia, I can understand how she feels like a little violated because this person's going on the internet talking about her living situation. And let's be honest, it's not the greatest. And 
no one would want that to be out there publicly for anyone to know that so Sophia is probably really embarrassed that this was released. And you just plastered it everywhere because you wanted some sort of 15 seconds of fame. Well, you're going to get your 15 seconds of fame. Was it worth it to lose your job? And I don't care if anyone comments in my comment section and defends that lady. Let me tell you something. If you're defending someone, spewing my business out there, people are literally calling her out. People have said that I can get a lawyer. And I've actually had people reach out to help me get a lawyer. So I would suggest... And your best advice, if you see this video, take those videos down. And even if you do, I still have the videos. So it's already too late for you. You should have never put my family in danger because you don't know the situation. Her talking about her posting for 15 seconds of fame. I mean, she's not wrong because she even says, Squid even says that she posted these videos because she's doing it for views. And we'll see that video a little bit later. But her argument was that everybody that posts on TikTok is posting for views. And it's not completely wrong. Why else would people post on TikTok? Everybody, people want views. Sure, some people might be posting for their friends and stuff like that. But a majority of people that are posting on TikTok are hoping they go viral, get big or something like that like that which is kind of crazy to me because you're not even making that much money on TikTok so you're not going to make enough on TikTok out of one viral video to just quit your job you have to do that consistently and even then you're still not going to make that much money i think a majority of their money comes from sponsors and Sophia keeps saying that squid put her family in danger which i don't understand that either because she didn't dox her all she did was go in there and tell a story that you know they're living out of the car and pooping on the sidewalk you was not there when my brother had to talk to the lady about paying rent you don't know our personal business you and your little friend needs to stop being rude to people that live there and you need to tell your friend to be a little nicer and stop acting like she's the manager when she's not. She's a maid. And what do maids do? Clean rooms. So I suggest you should be cleaning rooms instead of being short staffed and leaving nasty rooms for people to live in. How does being short staffed have anything to do with what she just said? With roaches, okay? Because our room had doors chewed in it, which I couldn't even take a picture I didn't even take a picture because I was like, you know what? I'll just suffer through this. The back of our door was chewed by someone else whose dogs was there. Their lights were falling off. They had overhead lights over our beds. They were literally broken. On top of that, our, our electricity plug blew up. Our refrigerator was not fixed for a whole month. We did not have our refrigerator fixed. And when... We told them it was broken. They didn't fix it. My mom had to defrost the refrigerator and it thankfully ran again. We had to shove all of our stuff in the freezer because we didn't have a refrigerator. Everything was going bad. On top of that, everything was damaged. Their countertop, the part where the countertops are, was coming apart because whoever was there damaged the room and mind you the lady that worked there before can vouch because she was disgusted when she saw what room we got she was looking around the room in disgust because she couldn't believe this is the room we were given on top of that someone punched a hole in the in the closet door by the kitchen was punched by someone else removing all the door issues you know i noticed that on the door it did look like an animal had chewed on it and they don't have an animal anymore when it comes to the holes in the walls and the doors and stuff being messed up i can see that being plausible because this isn't the best place right things she can't make excuses for is you know all of the gunk on on the walls that looked like food or something just sprayed on the walls the trash laying around and how dirty just everything was from them cooking in the microwave or on the stove or something like that and even then when you move into some place you clean it you just you clean it so that way you don't have other people's past selves on everything you know that room was nasty and we literally sacrificed to stay there because we didn't want to move from room to room and i am tired of these people not well i mean if it was that nasty why not just move to another room if it's that bad that's what i would do i wouldn't settle for something less but that's tofia's mindset you know it's what she wants to do she'd rather suffer than take action and go through that suffering to have something better there's only two maids that clean the whole building if you look at the building how big it is for two maids and people quit and you wonder why people quit
this is five minutes long and I'm just gonna end it here but if I was if I was you I would advise you to take down your video before it makes it worse and you incriminate yourself anyways I've got stuff I gotta do I have important things that I gotta do have a good day she ends it nicely there letting us know that she has some very important things she's got to do squid makes a response to that video let's see what she had to say so apparently Tofia wants to call the police on me honey 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 only one of us is breaking the law right now and i did call the cops on you okay i called the cops and reported a suspicious vehicle because y'all have been sitting there all day and all night shitting and pissing on the sidewalk like animals um and then i also told them that they they need to do a prior uh, welfare check because there's an elderly woman living in the car with them now so have fun dealing with that bitch. she goes on to make another video talking about how she's not going to show pictures of them or of their car because she feels like that's taking it a step too far because people were asking in the comments they were like can you pick a video of them show us pictures of them and i think she's right you know you don't want to go and dox them and show where they're living and just kind of dehumanize them and poke and make fun of them by recording them and showing it for the world to see that's that's just not right at the end of the day tofia is human squid goes on to make another video explaining how when the cops or the people that showed up to do a welfare check showed up that they didn't do anything nothing really happened from this and that they could hear tofia screaming at her mom confirming a lot of the stuff that we've already seen so my bad um actually what happened was the like community outreach mental health professional people that sometimes go with cops to these kinds of calls came out instead of the police so it was just them um one of my coworkers, because i wasn't there i called the police like after i was like done like about to leave so i left like right afterwards um my co-worker sent me a picture because they're like right outside they're not in the parking lot they're outside the parking lot but she sent me a picture of the back of a like zoomed in on the back of what i assumed was a cop car and she never gave me any more context so that's on me i spoke too soon without validating it when those people knocked on the car door and again i don't i heard this from a co-worker because i wasn't there when they knocked on the car door it took them like 10 minutes to get out of the car and now i don't know if that means like they struggled for 10 minutes to get out of the car or if they just refused to get out of the car for 10 minutes regardless they were there uh when i went to work this morning still in the same spot and here's the thing it is illegal to stay on the side of the road for an extended period of time they've been there for like two full days like two days two nights unfortunately i can see their car from like most places in the hotel every time i looked over there or happened to look over there they were still there they never moved where else would they be going to the bathroom which brings me to my first point we have safe outdoor spaces which are like basically city run places with bathrooms and other amenities and things like that like basic needs um where people who are either living in tents or specifically for people who are living in cars trucks rvs etc can live okay so they have access to all of that okay um, they don't need to be sitting on the street and also her mother does not need to be living in that car first and foremost the least thing that could happen is she could get a blood clot okay just from like sitting and not yeah i would say that is probably the worst thing about them living in that car is mama chu and we all know that mama chu is not in the best condition and this is definitely not good for her and god forbid something horrible happens to her because she's living out of the car they really do need to go somewhere and seek help and not just live out of this car moving around also today, my property manager, our property manager, was telling me that he had on several occasions in the middle of the night, anywhere between like midnight and 3 a.m., has had to like go, either overheard it himself or had someone, another guest, hear it and call him and tell them that someone was screaming at their mom that Tofia was screaming like they screamed at her all the time and like several times he would have to go and knock on the door and a few times he had to call APD. I think like. They're like literally abusing her. I find it kind of awful that they won, that they, they didn't do anything. Like they even sent the right people and they didn't do anything. They just left this poor woman with these animals. Um, also, a lot of you are commenting that I'm like, oh, she's gonna sue you for defamation or like, that only applies if what I'm saying is not true. It's not defamation if it's true. Like how, how is that defaming your character when you're the one doing these things?
And also, <sighs> how is she gonna pay for the lawyers? I heard from another coworker of mine that um, they were watching her videos or whatever, and I guess she said something about calling corporate, and guess what? They did not care. Because I didn't do anything illegal, and I didn't do anything technically wrong, okay? Well, so it looks like she's not going to lose her job from what she's saying, and she's right. Defamation is only defamation if you're saying something that isn't true about the person to ruin their reputation. And we all know that Tofia doesn't have the money, even though she might talk like she has all this money and all these sponsors and stuff like that. It's clear she does it because, well, she's homeless. When we do random inspections, your words on uh rooms it's because your room is disgusting it's because we're worried that you're not taking care of it because you don't let us in you always refuse service like you did every single week that i went to your room you only asked for sheets and you only opened the door this much so that i couldn't see into your room the reason that we did random inspections on you was because your room was disgusting and we were we were trying to keep up with that because you wouldn't let us in you only let us in when we told you we needed to do a safe the item inspection which is just code for check and make sure they're not destroying the room oh and when we gave you clean notices which means that your room is so filthy that you're on the verge of getting kicked out for it that's the reason that i went into your room the last time that i went in to make sure that you actually cleaned up and you did a little bit but like i said in my previous video it was still disgusting and on the topic of why she's even making videos about Tofia, somebody said that she was just doing it for the views, to which Squid addresses it and says, yeah, I'm doing it for the views, of course. I just want to let every single one of you guys out there know that's like posting hate comments and shit. Try harder. One of you told me to get more piercings. One of you tried to tell me I look like Sid the Sloth. I laughed at that one because I do. I do look like Sid the Sloth. You can't hurt my feelings because I don't give a f about you or whatever comes out of your mouth. And like, I know you think that you ate with this comment, like, Ugh, you only did it for the views. Honey, it's TikTok. Everyone's doing it for the views. My videos didn't have, didn't have a lot of likes or views before that. I'm very aware of this. I am also very aware that the reason they are right now is because of Tofia. I don't know why you think the truth would hurt my feelings, baby girl one of us needs to get a life and it's not me i'm just i'm also just gonna throw this out here no hate to you i just this is whatever um i haven't monetized any of these videos i'm not making a dime off of this shit in a couple videos after that she says that she's gonna take all the money that she earns and donate some of it to charity so i guess she is going to start monetizing these videos so hey she's doing some good with it actually you know what how about this I'm gonna keep doing TikTok the way that I've been doing TikTok. Okay, I'm not trying to be an influencer. I'm not trying to be famous. I wasn't trying to make money on TikTok purposely, but I am now. Um, and that, that would just be something to supplement my income. You know, it wouldn't be my whole job. Honestly, who wants to do that? That sounds awful, no offense. That's too much for me. But if this shit keeps up, I'll donate half of every check I get from TikTok to Amanda or to uh, what are, you know any other uh, to charities because I know what it's like to be on hard times and I know what it's like to have people help you of the kindness of their own hearts and I want nothing but to be able to repay that to those people and to just the world in general and that is part of the reason why I am so upset and so disgusted with her okay because yes it sucks being homeless sucks. Living out of your car sucks. Having no money sucks. But you gotta help yourself as much as you can before you're out here asking other people for help. And being a nice person goes a long way. Yep, I say that a lot. She needs to help herself. She's got to do something. She's got to get out there. She's got to take action. You can see some of the comments on her video saying, Tofia is big mad that you're wanting to donate to a charity. And also, you saw that Tofia recorded you while you were walking. Squid said, yep, reported that to the cops too. Meanwhile, Tofia is trying to scam people by making t-shirts for Gaza. Tofia sees this and rebuttals with saying that she's lying. She's lying to everybody. Everything she's saying, she ain't going to be doing this. She's going to keep the money for herself. Sorry. I said I wasn't going to address the housekeeper, but I had to address it because she's lying to y'all. 
First of all, TikTok has the option to add links to charities that you want donated to in your TikTok bio. You do not have to join the TikTok Creativity Beta Program to get people to donate to a charity because that to me doesn't make sense. You said some of it's going to somebody and some of it's going to charity. Yeah, that charity is your charity, the charity of you, the charity of getting someone evicted and then you realized you was getting views so you decided that you was just going to use my situation to make money. And when I called it out, you literally said that you was going to donate to a charity. She didn't get anybody evicted. They got evicted because they didn't have money for rent. With her saying that, it just makes me not believe everything else she's saying. Because this is just all speculation. That's what she's saying right now. Is it possible that Squid could take this money and not give it to charity and just keep it all for herself? Yeah, that's possible. I've seen some pretty crazy stuff and people tend to do some pretty dumb, crazy things. The videos I've seen of Squid so far, I don't think that she would do something like that, but I don't know her so first of all you were liking comments saying get that bag make that money let's be for real and the comment that i showed was someone saying to make money off the situation nowhere did you say anything about a charity tiktok has the option for you guys to add links do not believe anyone that says they're joining they're joining the creativity beta program to donate to a charity because you don't have to you're expecting people to give their hard-earned money to you to watch many videos over one minute to donate to a charity and you're supposed to expect us to have proof i hope that you have proof that you are donating to a charity Otherwise, I don't believe it because it's not going to her. She can just add a link to the charity that she wants it donated to in her bio. She doesn't have to go through all the process of... I'm not really understanding what she's talking about here because she does have a link in her bio unless she didn't at the time that she made this video. But there's a link right here that leads to something you can donate to. And from what I understand, she isn't asking for money. She's just saying that you can go donate to this if you want to and that she's going to take some of the money that she's earning and donate to a charity herself. I adding her tax information because you're paying taxes on money you're donating to charity or maybe you're trying to not pay taxes that's why you're donating to charity like all the other rich people. I think it's clear that Tofia is just mad that Squid's making money off of Tofia's situation. Um, I could screen record this and show you or you could go on TikTok and do your research about how to add a charity to your profile, but you do not need to join the Creativity Beta program to donate to charity. It is false. It is a lie. She's trying to get you to watch her videos because she saw the view she was raking in and because she decided, hey, let me join the Creativity Beta program. That's why she saw she hit 1.3 million views talking about me as she rubbed her grubby little hands together, called me an animal, mind you, which is disgusting. I don't think any charity would want you to donate money from a video that you called a black woman an animal, which I'm tired of people saying, oh, she's playing the race card. In the other video, people said I'm playing the race card. And also people said I was not black when I mixed. I'm Hispanic and black. But that is very disgusting of you to literally cause someone to get evicted, <laughs> call someone the B word, and then proceed to call the cops on a black person and giddily be excited that you said suspicious car and want to donate that money to a charity. Do not buy that BS. Please do not believe her and actually go donate money to a legit link and charity. Do not fall for that, please. She's trying to pull the wool over your eyes and it's not gonna work. I hope your charity, you're a charity, your own hands that you're trying to use to literally make money off of me works really well. The charity of you, you, and you. Have a nice day. There's a lot to unpack there and I just think it's crazy that she's using the race card here and can't fathom that somebody might actually be doing good out there. On the next video, Tofia makes a TikTok creator, Zaya, with over 4.9 million followers, leaves a comment and says, you still fail to take any accountability. You're the only one seeking sympathy. Your family is in this mess because of your actions. It's time to face reality, Tofia. The first comment that Zaya made that Tofia is referring to in this video 
video I'm about to show you says, sorry, Tofia, this has nothing to do with your race and everything to do with your behavior. Also, that video was of her literally walking to her job that you're parked outside of. So I want to talk about this because this needs to be said. There is someone that was verified. I like your content that she commented. It's not racism and she's walking to work. So I'm going to tell you. The only time that she's seen us was four times. And the four times that she's seen us, we were in our car. We've all been in a situation where we're stuck in traffic or we're in the car. When nature calls, nature calls, right? You have to go to the restroom. And we went to the thrift store, which is was just newly built, to use the restroom. So she walked to work, which is okay. I'm not I'm not saying she doesn't have a right to walk to work. Yeah, but the way you've been saying it the whole time is like, oh my God, she's walking to work. She, what a loser. Like, how could she walk to work? That's the vibe she's given off when she's expressing and describing these things about Squid. She walked to lunch and was filming. While she was filming, we were sitting in the car. Mind you, we cannot move because the car's not movable. We can't tow it. I, I even told my mom, we have to move because she's going to keep harassing us. Uh, we're going to have to try to figure something out. It's expensive to tow it to where we need to tow it. Towing is expensive. Everyone knows that. Tow companies are super, super expensive. We do not have the money right now. We're trying to save we were trying to save. We were hoping maybe we could get. That's how you know that Tofia is not making much money at all because she thinks towing is super, super expensive. It's not super expensive. If you have a normal job, you can afford it. Yeah, it's going to suck to have to spend that money, but you can afford it. Someone to tow it or get a tow. We couldn't. The cops harassed us, which is why we had to tow it. So we're not there because the cops forced us to tow it. And he had to bother people early in the morning to tour at my brother. So with the logic that she's given me here, it seems like anybody that just talks to her to do something, they're harassing her. But anyways, not he, not that he's bothering, but you know. So anyways, um, the maid walked to work, which was fine. She walked to lunch. Mind you, I had got a message before I had seen the maid or the housekeeper because people get mad. I call her maid housekeeper. I received a message from someone saying, um, don't let the maid film you or the housekeeper. People are telling her to film you. And I was like, okay, thank you for letting me know. Um, so I have a right to film. It's public property. Her job is not there, mind you. Her job is right behind us. So she has a right to film, but when Squid films her, she doesn't have the right to film her because it's harassment. And also the video I think she's talking about where she's filming Squid walking, I think she removed it, but I did find it and here's that video. Are this with people? Because this needs to be shown. That's literally you walking by our car harassing us. Yeah, walking on the sidewalk uh, past Tofia is now harassment. Be careful, y'all. Well, according to Tofia, she was recording them while she was walking by. Okay, and she could walk to work if she wants to, but she was liking comments about filming me. She was literally liking and responding to comments about filming me, saying, I'm going to try to see if I can film. Why are you trying to film us if we're just sitting in our car not bothering you? Mind you, I didn't look her way. I didn't antagonize her. I didn't do anything towards her because I wasn't looking towards her way. Well, I mean, you had to look her way in order to record that video and to see that she was walking by, right? So, and Squid said in the video before that she wasn't going to record them or show their car or take pictures or anything like that because she felt like that was going too far. When she was walking by, I just happened to look because I'm in a car looking at things, right? I have a right to look outside. I'm in a car. There's windows. And I see her walk by and I said, that's the maid. And I said, watch, because she was liking comments about filming me so of course i'm gonna be on alert because you just doxed my brother's car mind you she doxed my brother's car and she says she shouldn't have done what she did by making the first initial video but she did it anyways i'm not sure what she's talking about doxing her brother's car i haven't seen anything on that unless she posted something and deleted it real quick but i haven't seen any re-uploads of this i haven't seen any proof but i did see in the comments of one of squid's videos where they said that she also doxed your place of employment on her story which squid said oh hell no sim card reveal coming soon and we'll get to more on the sim card after we finish this tofia rant 
So then the four times that she's seen us, we were sitting in our car. So how would you know if we're using the restroom on the sidewalk if you've only seen us four times? And so she walked to work. She was going to lunch, I assume. Probably not just to act like she's just going to lunch so she could film us because that video that she filmed where she's under trees that's the video where she was right next to us as we were in the car when she was filming so then she um walks back to work and after that i didn't i didn't see if she walked home i'm not paying attention to her i'm looking and she just happens to be where i'm looking so i have to pay attention because she's over here saying she's gonna film me and playing victim like she needed to call the police and follow the police report like what she then goes on a rant giving excuses as to why they have to use the restroom on the sidewalk saying that there's no bathrooms available and then delves back into being called an animal is racist calling someone an animal and saying that they're pissing and crapping on the sidewalk calling a human being especially a homeless person, an animal, when we've all been in a situation that we've had to use the restroom somewhere because we needed it badly, and saying it's not racism? Mind you, I mean, if I'm a black person, of course it is racism. What was her reasoning for calling me an animal to use the excuse that we were using the restroom on the sidewalk when she only saw us four times mind you we had been parked there for three days and the day that we were parked there was a sunday when they're closed the logic behind squid saying that they were using the restroom on the sidewalk is that well they didn't leave the area so where else are they going to be using the restroom right so it doesn't take a genius to figure out that well they're probably using the restroom on the sidewalk continuously if they're not going anywhere else I'm a literal human being that deserves decency and respect. I'm a human being. I am homeless. I can't move in my car. You're harassing us constantly saying, oh, well, she's going to work. She has a right to go to work. But when she's liking comments saying she's trying to record us and she puts on sunglasses and a hat to try to disguise herself so we wouldn't think anything suspicious, that's... That's not right. And I even and I even said I even said there was comments and I showed my brother comments. It's a public property. We have a right to film. Her bit her work was not there. So if you're liking comments trying to film me, that's a problem. For my safety, I'm gonna film because I need the proof and you literally admitted it in videos. She admitted it in videos. So her walking by and and literally liking comments and responding to comments saying she's going to film me does not make her case any better when she keeps walking by. Mind you, she could go to work. Like, I'm going to say, yeah, she went to work, but she's trying to disguise herself with a cap and a hat to film us because she says she was. How do you know that she's trying to disguise herself? I'm wearing a hat, and if I put sunglasses on, does that mean I'm trying to disguise myself? I don't... I don't believe so. Just because somebody puts on a hat and sunglasses doesn't mean they're trying to disguise themselves. Mind you, she literally docks what my brother's car looks like. What was what was the reason for that? Why is she acting like she's a victim when we just left the place? We didn't even call. Mind you, the lady that worked there said, I, I would allow you guys back. I would work with you. But corporate said, we can't have you here because of issues with rent. It had nothing to do with our room being dirty, mind you. She's just trying to use that, using my situation to make money and make herself look good when that's not what the lady told us in the office. And after my brother took what he could from the room, he got all the important stuff because he had someone moving him. He didn't know how long he was going to have them for. So he had the person moving them, moving him. So he hurried up and got everything that was important that we needed and left the other stuff and she ran real quick after that and started filming mind you our stuff was sitting there for almost a day and a half probably a whole day and she's too busy filming tiktoks and not doing her job so i don't know i mean me personally i would not call homeless people animals for using the restroom outside considering how albuquerque is it is very hard to go to the restroom unless you have a home or you're a paying customer. 
I can't help it, right? And I, like I said, I didn't use the restroom on the sidewalk when she was walking by. I don't know. I don't appreciate being called an animal, considering the fact that I'm not an animal. I'm a human being. Like, it makes you feel unhuman. And sometimes people are like, well, that's not racism. Okay. I mean, you got it. But if it was any other black person being called a gorilla, a dog, or some sort of animal, you guys would have an issue with it. But, oh, in this case, it's not racism. Even though I was just sitting in my car, I wasn't even using the restroom. You got it. Have a good day, I guess. It's really hard to follow Tofia sometimes. She just contradicts herself a lot. So I'm just going to let you interpret everything she said for yourself, and we're going to move on. What does give us another little house tour of the place? I don't know why I thought her room was already clean but i did have to clean it today just get all the way through it uh i was in there for two hours i still have another hour of work to do in there but uh, i did take some videos so roll that beautiful bean footage see how nice and clean ish that flats a hole in the floor that floor looks i've already wiped down most of the fridge but that is foul that's rotten food juice I forgot to take a video before, but look at how nice and clean this is now. Even the magic eraser couldn't get all of that. I used an entire magic eraser on this bathtub. I still need to get in here and scrub those little pieces off, but that, that's poop. There was poop on the wall. Did she just say there was poop on the wall? I don't, I don't even want to know how that happened. I had to soak this and decrease her literally all day. The inside of your microwave should not look like this. Looks like you left a SIM card here. Um, good thing I'm a nice, good, decent person. And correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I don't think you can really get much off a SIM card. Just possibly some text messages if they're saved to the SIM card, but I think they're usually saved to the phone and then contacts as well as voicemail stuff. And there was somebody in the comments that was being very vague. I wasn't sure if they were talking about Squid or the other person Squid was mentioning, but she said that they were a convicted armed felon, which Squid made this reply. I don't know where that man got that information but it's not true and the fact that she's now actually saying that it is on the internet that's defamation that's actual defamation that could actually go to court i am not a convicted felon i am not an armed robber the worst thing that i've ever done i steal a bikini from walmart when i was in my 20s okay but keep talking and i will keep screen recording and if you're talking about this sweet little angel, Amanda Dove, then you need to get her name out of your mouth because yes, she was, but unlike you, she has turned her life around and she has made changes for the positive and she has taken accountability for her actions. I still have that SIM card. Better start acting right before I stoop to your level. And then one of the latest videos that Squid has uploaded, uh, well, tells us this. I, I know you're probably watching this, so I'm just gonna talk directly to you. Um, we had to throw away both of the mattresses in your room because they were soaked with piss. Okay. I don't think in the year and a half, almost two years that I've worked at that hotel that we've had to throw out a mattress. Y'all pissed all over the fucking mattresses. I'm going to say it again. Animals. You act like animals. Okay. And you did dox me. And now the gloves are off, okay? I was not doxing you. And then you had to go and name the place that I worked twice, okay? Okay? So you better pray that the next time you see me, I don't see you. Anyway, it's getting pretty late. I have to get up and go to work in the morning. You know, that thing that pays the rent uh, for the nice warm bed and the nice warm house that I live in and the nice warm shower that I'm going to take in the morning? Have the day you deserve. I'm just tired. I don't want to rent anymore. That's the problem. We paid too much money renting when we could just own a place. It's a waste of money. Have you ever heard of a mortgage? At this point, we gotta own a house. We gotta own something. 
because how's your credit way too much money can to you even get a small loan let alone a loan for a home do you know how the world works i was actually done with this video I, I uploaded it and was about to throw a thumbnail on it and everything but i came across this video of tofia just saying the just watch the video you know why you are working as a housemaid or a housekeeper because you can't get a real job I mean, it's great that you think the only job she's good at is being a housekeeper. I mean, that's funny. Also, no one pays you to think, okay? She is a housekeeper. She needs to worry about cleaning her rooms because clearly she doesn't clean them good enough. No, you're a housekeeper. You don't know what you think. Oh my God. That is so rich coming from Tofia. Who doesn't have a real job? She doesn't make anywhere near enough to be able to compare it to the normal wage of an actual job. And then to just sit there and say that she can't think because she is a maid, a housekeeper. That's crazy. That one got my blood going a little bit. There's nothing wrong with being a housekeeper. I'd say it's a way better job than whatever Tofi is doing, which is not working. <laughs> and that's the breakdown of everything that has happened recently with Tofia and her homeless era. Shout out to my Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting my videos. Leah, Kathy, Mandy, Lexi, Kat, Siri, Jess, Darian, Dawn, Cyber Katie and Repzilla. Thank you so much for all your support. And special thanks to Lucy Dixon for selecting the highest tier on Patreon. Lucy, thank you so much for all your support.